Guys, this is Guillermo Mati here. So in this video, I'm actually going to be showing you how to find businesses emails and how to email them the right way. Because there's a lot of people that are emailing prospects, but really don't know how to do it. So I'm going to show you number one, how to get that business email from the new Facebook uh, services, local pages that they're now working on. And um, I'm going to show you how to email those prospects. So let's dive right into it. So diving right into it, really, really simple stuff. Let me get my classes on first and foremost, because I could barely see without them on. So let's get these bad boys on. All right, cool. So we're working now. <laughs> so really, really simple. Um, this is the all new Facebook uh, services section. They're starting to work on it, doing lots of improvements. And um, they have a lot of plans for it. You know, they're looking to be like the all new Yelp, quote unquote, um, they're trying to compete so that's that's big news uh with 12 million guys on there you know it's going to be pretty easy really really easy to get uh up on those rankings on the search engine so but back to the plan let's dive right into it so obviously as you can see here i just did a quick search for plumbers in the area that i'm in now and i went ahead and typed in plumbers let's click on this first business here really really simple stuff and you don't even have to be logged in for this this is the beauty of this all new you know business pages and services listing uh, listings and all that stuff so first thing you want to do is click on about us really really simple all right so the about us section will give you you know the basic information like the URL phone number address and um, when you click on this page info down on the bottom you'll see that email and that email has to be connected to the user's profile so whoever's controlling their fan page whether it be the business owner whoever it is uh, you know it's just you know this email is really important because it's just an opportunity for us to be able to to speak to the business without having to call them directly you know um not everybody's a cold caller not everybody could do the whole cold calling thing but people can email you know you can do all of your sales and all that stuff through email so i just copied and pasted i'm going to copy this email right now let me just leave my screen open so you can see me so I'm just going to copy that there and i'm going to paste that email here all right, so we're going to start off with the headline. When you email prospects, you never really want to email prospects from the perspective of, you know, you're, you're really trying to sell. So you want to give something that's going to, number one, get them to open up, and number two, get them to respond. So how do we get them open to open up? Um, you want to say something like, you know, it doesn't have to be, you know, too harsh or anything like that but the point is just to get them to open up that email so something like that's just this is just an example but it you know I'm not off topic with it I'm not trying to pitch or anything like that that's what a lot of people tend to do a lot of people when they type up their emails they're like you know they're doing this. They're doing, uh, okay, websites, $2.99, buy now. Like, you, you really can't approach it like that. Like, you'll never get them to open up. So you want to use the more urgency approach. So you want to add some scarcity to that title. Uh, plumbing, uh, let me just lowercase this. So plumbing. Um, plumbing business at risk, it's just you know something that causes urgency. This is again just an example. And when you craft that email, of course you want to add your name. After you've added all the content at the top, you want to add your name. You want to add your email. You want to add your phone number, all right? 
and of course a URL so they could get more information on you. Now, you want to keep this minimum probably two paragraphs or less. You know, don't really add too much because the goal is really to get them to click, call, or whatever action you choose. Whatever action you really want to trigger, you need to frame that email around that. That's the that's what you want to do. Don't just think sales, 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 sales because that's never going to get people to respond to you. It never worked like that for me and um, it's not going to work like that for you. So you want to pay close attention to that. Really, really simple stuff, guys. Um, so remember, add that scarcity to those titles. Keep it one or two paragraphs. Add that name, email, URL. Get that all on there. Um, and as you know, you know, you click on that about us section page info and you have that email right here and I also want to add as well that on um, let me just open up my screen here also wanted to add as well that on the new lead rabbit we're going to be adding a lot of this stuff on there so we can automate this entire process so we're going to be looking to add a new email parser URL parser uh, for this page info section and um, you know email and features this is all on the new lead rabbit that we just released we had over something like a hundred and hundred plus supporters that was amazing so we're looking to do the same uh, with your support so I'm excited for this This is coming out really soon I'll make sure to keep you posted on this um, if you're excited for the new lead rabbit make sure to leave the comments down below if you want a copy blah 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 just leave that excitement all down below on the comments okay that'll mean a lot to me and a lot let me know too that you actually saw this video so um, that's pretty much it guys um, as you know I'm Guillermo Mata and look forward toward uh, the lead rabbit coming really really soon I'll speak to you then bye bye with over 100 plus supporters, we are really, really excited to release the new Lead Rabbit add-on number one. If you're really, really excited for this new add-on release, uh, please leave your comments down below. The more comments we get, the sooner we will release the software to you so you can access it as well. So please leave your comments down below and uh, we can't wait to hear your response.